hello friends welcome back to our channel so today's video is about uh, scenario based interview question uh, which would be based on a, a scenario on e-commerce website so this is also one of the interview questions which can be asked uh, for a production support role so let's get started So the question here is, suppose you're an ops lead or an on-call person and supporting a cloud-based e-commerce platform. During a major sale event, the platform experiences a sudden increase in traffic as thousands of users try to access the website simultaneously. However, the website becomes unresponsive and many users report that they are unable to complete their purchases. The situation is critical as the sales are time sensitive and the company stands to lose significant revenue if the issue is not resolved quickly. So what steps would you take to address this issue and restore the website's functionality? So now let's take the example of this issue. Uh, Upon initial investigation, you find that web servers are experiencing extremely high CPU utilization, which is likely causing unresponsiveness. The website's load balancer is also showing a higher than usual number of connections to one of the backend servers. So now we'll try to identify the potential steps to address the issue. So the very first step would be the immediate communication. So as a lead or on-call person, you need to quickly notify all relevant teams, including development, operations, management, and about the ongoing incident. You can also set up a triage that is a dedicated communication channel to coordinate uh, efforts across the teams effectively. So the second step would be um, scaling up of resources. So st start by scaling up the number of uh, web servers in the cluster to handle the increased traffic load and utilize auto scaling mechanism if available or manually add additional server instances to the existing pool. So the next step would be to um, review load balancer configuration. So you may need to review the load balancer's configuration to ensure that it is distributing traffic uh, evenly among uh, backend servers. And you may have to adjust your load balancing algorithm if necessary. And you can also reach out to your network team to find out if by any means there is a network congestion which needs to be worked upon by the by your network team the next is to identify resource intensive request wherein you uh, need to analyze server logs and monitoring data to identify any specific requests or um, api endpoints that are causing high high cpu utilization so you'll, you may have to optimize or cache this request if possible. So you can also look for the database optimization if there's any need. So you may have to check the database performance and optimize any slow querying queries and consider um, killing any queries of from the jobs which are doing some kind of data raid and causing some kind of congestion at the network end or slowing down some of the queries which are necessary to perform the considering uh, the current sale event that is the transactional queries and um, you can also consider adding additional database replica or sharding the database to distribute the load better. 
now uh, this one more thing graceful degradation uh, so it represents to implement a graceful degradation strategy to prioritize critical functionality during high traffic events so for example if the checkout process is crucial temporarily uh, you can disable non essential features to ensure a smoother experience for users who are trying to make purchases you can also consider rolling back the recent changes so if any recent changes were deployed before the incident occurred so consider rolling back those changes to the previous stable version of the application now the last and the significant part is post incident analysis so after resolving uh, the issue and restoring the website's functionality uh, you'll have to conduct a thorough uh, post incident analysis with the uh, various teams if required and identify the root cause uh, document the incident responses and discuss the potential improvements to prevent uh, similar incidents in the future um now the these all steps are uh, the general guidelines and the actual actions taken will depend on the specific architecture and the tools you normally use in the e-commerce platform the focus should be on mitigating the immediate issue but uh, you'll have to ensure that there is a long term stability and the performance of the application or the platform uh, so this is what all i have for this particular scenario in this video thank you so much you can share this video like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye